Right, okay, let's go. No, this is true, I am not a pervert. Why I love the elderly. Uh, it's not driven out of some kind of desire or incessant need to hang out with older people and get down and dirty with them. Uh, this has actually come from uh, me seeing how uh, older people generally get uh, mistreated and patronized and treated like kids uh, and talked as if they're babies, where they've got people shouting from left and right and pulling them from, uh, from pillar to post. Uh, it really winds me up when I see this uh, happening, which is why I've turned this into this rant. Um, and yes, I do understand, of course I understand, that there are people that really work really uh, hard uh, looking after and caring for, um, for elderly people, people that are losing functions and uh, are losing their mind a little bit. It takes an awful lot of patience. So this talk isn't really for you. It's, all of, it's basically you lot, you bunch of bastards, right? And blaming society because your attitudes are changing. While we're all walking around with our heads and our iPhones, kind of thinking of ourselves and looking for self-gratification, what we're not doing is really thinking of others and looking outwardly and doing our best to care. And what we're losing, I suppose, is just the elements of respect. Um, um, and and, and this, is, this is like the fundamentals of being a really decent human being here, right? We need to respect each other. But personally, I feel that we have to respect older people as much as we possibly can because these are people that are loved and laughed and have, uh, have, have cried uh, and they earn respect. Now look what they do in other cultures, okay? They actually hold people up. They hold older people, the elders, they, they are seen as elders in our society, in their society. And they celebrate what they've achieved in their life. Now I've been thinking about well, how this fucking happens, excuse my language. Uh, and, it, and it started now with me already. I've got a 10 year old boy and he'll always turn around at me when I say to him now, oh look, you should be doing this. Well, he'll say, well, you sure Dan? I say, what's the, well, actually me, I'm not so sure anymore. And that's it. And what happens is that you're slowly getting people uh, kind of battering you down and battering your views. And like, I'm like, I'm approaching 40 now and this is what's gonna happen. We end up turning into kind of uh, grumpy people and then people get judged uh, because they're grumpy. But wouldn't you be grumpy if you're right to being taken away from you? If you're treated like a baby, uh, you're losing independence, spelt wrong by the way, you're losing choices, you're losing you know, kind of bodily functions. I mean, I am gonna be frustrated, so this is a plea basically protecting me, because it's not gonna be long before I'm gonna be an older person. And come on, what's not to love about the elderly? Uh, if you've got someone that's really close to you in your family, they're full of hugs. Who doesn't want a hug? I want a hug, everyone needs hugs. They'll give you amazing anecdotes, they'll give you really controversial views that you might not agree with because they're outdated, but you'll go with it anyway. Fashion, elderly people, know how to dress, okay? They really dress smart. You know, how many times you see uh, an older bloke walking down the streets wearing his dicky bow and his waistcoat? He's looking the part, you know? And uh, ladies with that hairdo, it just doesn't move. It's like a helmet. They always look of their era, and that's quite right for them. But where the fuck does that leave us? What, are, what state are our kids going to be having to clear up as we're walking down the street with our skinny jeans and our long sleeve tattoos? And, you know, are we even going to keep on maintaining this hipster beard thing? What I actually love about older people is that they have great stories and you know we're living at the moment with people that have lived through wars that have lived through uh, huge stages of human development with technology and with um, fashion and you know we need to embrace that and take advantage of it now this is the hand of my nan she's 93 years old okay an amazing woman absolutely love her to pieces and I honestly there is no better feeling than sitting down and listening to her talk so inappropriately about so many things but she <laughs> But her biggest struggle, like she'll say to me, oh, son, it was so difficult living in India because we couldn't afford to pay the servants, all right? So when she came, and when she came over to the UK, her biggest beef was the fact that she had to use a washing machine and she spent all her time crying because of it. Uh, and the, the, the brutal, horrible truth of life is that it's going to end, okay? And people that are approaching the end of their life, are, you know, when, when they're being beaten down by society because suddenly their opinion isn't, uh, doesn't matter, um, you know, these people are going to always feel sad and, you know, kind of be drawn within themselves. And we need to be the ones to lift that spirit because at the moment what, it, what we see is people dragging you, you know, dragging you through the pain because selfishly we want to keep everybody alive. So so what I want is for us all to be better at this, all for us to look at the older person, look at our grandparents, our great grandparents, however, whoever's around us at the minute. I don't know, I don't know what age it starts at, but all I know is just let's be better at embracing experience in our society. Let's celebrate. Why don't we have Elders' Day? All right? Why don't we actually have an Elders' Day where our grandparents can talk and share their experiences, where everyone could be just so happy for what they've achieved, whether we agree with it or whether we're not. You know, that's what I think that we should be doing with uh, with uh, older people. So, what I suppose I want you to take from
from this talk is, I, I'm the, again, the principles of being just a decent human, okay? When I was, well, I'm like whenever I see someone elderly coming towards me, I'll always greet them with a smile. I'll try and take a little bit of time to be patient with them, to listen to them, and to give them the respect that they deserve. I love older people, and you lot should do it too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.